So I don't know if you can uh, see it from the angle of the camera, but uh, I bought an anometer. Anometer. It's a uh, wind meter, basically. So uh, I've been getting asked for the past like two years, hey man, what do you think about the Dart fly screen? And uh, I I'm consistently left answering kind of in this vague and ambivalent way where I'm like, well, you know, I think the truth about the fly screen is I just don't know. I just don't know. I mean, uh, you know, I bought it originally for a little bit more wind protection on my road trip. And, um, you know, when I first put it on there a couple of years back, I thought that like, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely helping. It's not a lot. It's not as good as like a full windscreen would be, but, uh, it's pretty good. And, you know, over time I've actually started to kind of think, well, I don't know if it really is that good. <laughs> it's just kind of, um, it's questionable whether or not it's really doing anything. And so I figured to, to put this to bed once and for all, the best way to find out if it's really doing anything would be to create an incredibly objective test. So why not get uh, an anometer, a wind meter, and uh, let's just see with the windscreen on if it's actually stopping any wind. Um, I think that, you know, you could find several flaws with this test. Uh, one thing I will say is that I'm using my... Uh, ram mount that I usually use for the GPS to mount the uh, wind meter. I think you can see it. And uh, so, you know, you could argue that the wind meter should be more like uh, helmet height so that you could uh, actually see if it's stopping the wind from hitting your face. But I would argue that the way that this is shaped, right, it's going to kind of hit right at your helmet. And really what you're trying to prevent is any level of extra wind. So I think having it where it's at is a fairly objective location, you know. And more importantly, if it's stopping wind right there, it's probably stopping something from hitting your chest. And so that's what, uh, I think that's what we really care about, is, uh, is the wind getting to your chest or not? And so basically, I'm gonna ride down this street up here, maintain a pretty consistent speed, see what the, the max wind speed and wind chill come out to be. And then we're gonna take the fly screen off and we're gonna see what everything looks like with the fly screen off. All right. Adjust. All right, so evidently, I don't know how to uh, clear out the max setting. It okay, we're gonna have to go back home and figure out how to clear this bad boy out. I think that's the only way to make this uh, truly objective test work. Let's uh, reset and just ride down this road and see what, what the results look like. I'm gonna get up to about 30, just maintain. That doesn't look bad. Eight miles per hour. A little more speed. About 45 miles an hour now. Obviously it's going up. Seeing about 20 on the clock. Try to look at the road as well. Alright, this is as good a point to pull over as any. So let's see what the max is. 30.9. Wow. So now the, the question is, let's take the fly screen off and uh, see how it performs. All right, so I have taken the fly screen off. Dart fly screen is gone. And, uh, you know, so subjectively speaking, how does it feel with the fly screen gone? Like I said, I mean, I think it's like a, 
it's just such a subtle difference that it's really hard for me to say. Um, and honestly, like, you know, this is essentially a naked bike in the sense that there is absolutely no protection. There's no fairing, there's no covering or anything. So I'm very, very used to just getting blasted by the wind. So, I mean, even if I were to do this at freeway speeds, get on the interstate, go super fast, see how I feel with, without it, see what the anemometer says. I mean, I think it like just wouldn't matter at all because in reality, I'm just so used to it that it's really hard for me to tell if there's a difference. But fortunately, that is where this empirical test comes into play. It will tell us if there's any difference. And I, I have not touched the wind meter location whatsoever. I've left it exactly as it was. And you can see 9.1, 5.5, a little bit of wind chill. Visually, how do I feel about uh, the fly screen on versus the fly screen off? I mean, it kind of depends on the day, but I'll tell you this, I, I kind of like it on actually. I think it just gives the bike a different look and feel. And there's just something about it that's kind of subtly sexy in a, in a like touring and adventure way, but also that just adds an element to the bike, you know? Especially when you're seeing other Bonnevilles and Scramblers around and you know, you're kind of that guy with the fly screen. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's my opinion. You know, I, I really like the way the fly screen looks. I mean, seeing it now without the fly screen like this, I mean, that's fucking beautiful though. <laughs> I think it's a good looking bike uh, any way you, you think about it, so. All right, yeah, let's uh, do the same thing we did. Get up to about 30. Maintain about 30. Seeing a 14 on the scale right now. Go from 30 to about 45. Maintain 45 for a minute, come back down to into 40 miles per hour, keep my eye on the road, <laughs> maintain at 40 so we stop. That's a beautiful view of the mountains right there. It's pretty amazing to live so close to something so epic. All right, now let's see what we think. Oh, look at that, 44 miles per hour. Huh, so the max is a little bit higher. I feel like I have more to say about this, but uh, I don't remember exactly what the numbers were from the previous one. All right, so did the, uh, rode around yesterday, grabbed a bunch of data, not a bunch of data, grabbed a couple of pieces of data on the uh, fly screen, and I figured uh, I owed it at least a follow-up to say that um, with the fly screen, my measurement was about 30 miles per hour. Without it, it was about 44. Um, if you do the math, that's a 31% difference. So uh, in my opinion and assessment, basically you can say definitively that the fly screen is in fact helping you block some wind. Bye.